All right, these guys are jamming. They're a jamming, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head out, I think I'm gonna sleep on it. I think I'm gonna sleep on it and give it some thought. Just not there yet. And what do we do here? We do the good old charger startup to hear the smoke show be outdone. Will it? Let's find out. Let's listen to Sonny. Not too shabby, right? Not too shabby. So we're going to have to think about it. Okay, it's back. I had a turn signal error on this thing. So I wonder what they figured out. What wire, what wire came unplugged? When he had the upper uh, thing? So, light's still on. I talked to one of my main techs. He said, he's seen, he's seen this before. I've, I've seen it come up on a lot of cars. All right. Usually, like, go just, like, cycle the issue and go away. Okay. Um, what he would need to do, he'd need to come in here, because there's not too many um, cases on it. He'd start a star case and see how they would want us to go around, because they're all functioning fine. Okay. None of them are out, but I, he doesn't know how to fix that message. There's nothing, there's no like in the service library, nothing saying you don't do this. Yeah, it yeah. Says, it says there is something to do it if you have any DTC set for this. You don't have any DTC set or anything. So it's, no. so it's weird. But we probably need to drop off with this for a little bit to start a star case. I gotta have the car here ready to do a star case. Okay. That's, we'll do that next that's, week. That's gonna take some time, you know. Yeah, okay. But what I would do, I'd just swap right down here to a dollar and then. Yeah, I get you. you. Know what I mean? Yeah, it's so, good. All right, I like it. If yeah, doesn't reappear definitely. again, I'll leave you alone. I would love to figure it out because we have tons of cars that come in here yeah. and have that issue. And I'm like, I don't really know too much. But. Right. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. I'm trying to leave. I can't leave because the freaking, uh, um, I don't know. What the hell's going on? The car's got all these freaking messages. So I don't know. I'm hungry. I get something to eat. Oh, here it is. The good old smoke show. Making some smoke. Is it? Or isn't it? Gotta have my charge right next to it. Alright, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? Huh? I don't know, I man. I just, I, my gut instinct is to buy this car back. That is my gut. Okay, let's do the side by side comparison and see which sounds better. Look at that difference. Listen to that. Listen to this. What is the deal? Wow, this sounds good. drive it home so we can get the kid and figure out what we're going to do. All right, we're back in the smoke show. You know, it's so interesting. Now kind of back in this car, go to drive modes. Let's go to sport. And, jeez, it's not simple. It's incredible. This has a power, this has the power tilt, which that's pretty impressive. And, uh, anyways, this is such a nice car. I mean, I just think that these products are going to get so expensive that I just think, yeah, I just have mixed feelings buying this car back. But, you know, so many aspects to me. Some of you ever offered me big numbers on my Hellcats, on my Charger and Challenger, I'd probably let them go. And then I wouldn't have, per se, the fun Mopars. And, and that's what I kind of think to myself right now is, this here, I mean, I don't see this car ever getting big numbers. So it's more of a car just to have a lot of fun with and enjoy and wouldn't be really worried about putting tons of miles on it. Versus the Hellcats, I think those are more of the bigger ticket item. And I, once again, I mean, if somebody offered me some pretty crazy numbers next year on those cars, the odds are I'd probably let them go. But then I'm out of the Mopars. So that's why I'm kind of thinking, do I buy this car back that just kind of keeps that the long term. So I don't know. It's all about the excuses, right? That was my 
conversations. But this car is so tight, so nice, and I just think it really is, you know, in so many ways that I want to trade this out for the Plum Crazy. Not really, but for the bank deal I had to do. But here, it's more about the kid now. So I'm going to be right now, I'm driving home. The kids are going to have to come to closure and say, do you want to sign off on a car loan? This would be the first car loan for my kid in her lifetime. And is this the car you'd really like to have under your name? That in so many ways is your car. So and that's why I'm going home. The kid's hanging out with her new boyfriend and she's not answering the phone. But I'm going to drive it home. And I think that's just kind of a good thing just to drive it and see if it's worth the deal or not. So uh, uh, it's always about the money. It's always about, you know, what makes sense, what doesn't. And yeah, does it make any sense? Yeah, for me. But this thing is just such another fun car. These Scat Pack cars are incredibly fun cars. <laughs> I mean, come on. You hear this thing? But in the back way, and yep, this car, these Dodge Challenger wide body scat packs, such a nice package. I mean, just really a lot of fun. So, yeah, I know I'm a crazy man, but you gotta get the answer from the kid. The kid's got so much fun to do. If the kid doesn't really commit to this, and I'm not gonna buy it. You know, it really comes down to the kid. Does the kid really want this car? So, Find out. Yeah, there's one thing for sure. This Challenger with the exhaust so much closer to you, you get so much more of that real exhaust note out of this vehicle. I mean, it really is fun. So, no doubt. So, in the Charger, you know, once again, it's a longer wheelbase car. So, you're just not getting that interior noise. I mean, like this car here. I mean, it's just a really lot of fun. I can't get over how tight this car is. I mean, it really is a really tight car. So, onward to the kid. And the real posting should be the daughter buys back the smoke show. That's the real posting because the application has been approved in my daughter's name with me co-signing. This would be a first for my daughter ever to have an opportunity to establish her credit. So I think that'd be exciting for her, but once again, she's gonna have to be the final say in this. All right, just a really beautiful, beautiful Saturday afternoon in the Dodge Challenger wide body smoke show. Just a really nice rumble. It's not you know, it's not too obnoxious, but it's definitely louder than my charger, for sure. I mean, <laughs> no, the, the Mopar fun, right? So the home link still works. It's all about the home link, right? So you didn't deprogram it. There's a little key for it, and there's the kid. So here's the moment of truth of the kid. The moment of joy or the moment of sadness when she gets the first car payment. Yeah, I'm a co-signer, but you're the primary. So the question is, I've been texting you and calling you. You're not responding. So do you want do you want to buy this back? Do you want to buy it back? With my money. Yeah, it's going to be in your name. Yeah. It's going to be your first official purchase yes. of a car. Yeah. And they're basically selling me back. They're basically selling back what they paid me for it. Yeah. So. I do. Does it have the dent in it still? Come and look. It's an awful expensive dent to be repaired. It did? It's gone? Yep. Whoa. Yep. 
How much is the payment a month? <laughs> yeah. It's not cheap. It's not cheap, but what do you think? I mean, I think, you know, it's incredible. So this exhaust is louder. It says it's a shorter wheel, you know, wheelbase. But, I mean, it's just incredible how tight this car is. I mean, so this car is an extremely tight car for them. You know, it's a 2020 car. This car is now four years old, basically. They had, like, no wide-body challengers at the dealership. But this is my old car. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Here's the kid. And the kid is like, hey, she's excited, but she's nervous. Because all of a sudden, I flew by that car, it's in her name. But the deal I'm getting on the car, and I'm putting money down, she'll never be upside down on it. So I wouldn't do that to my kid. So for her, if she wants to sell the car, literally after we buy it, uh, she could, and she could put money in her pocket. So, but she just wants, I told her to take the car for a ride and see if you like it. Okay. Okay, here he is. There's the kid. Takes a ride in a car that she owns. I mean, she's owned this car, not her, but me. Okay. She's back. She's back in the blacked out, tinted out, scat pack, wide body. What does she think? I'm going to do it. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Well, you guys want to ride up to town together? What are you going to do? Karen, do you want to go do the deal with me? Or should I wait till tomorrow? Uh, I'll pass on both if you guys would. All right, well, the kid wants to buy the car back. Yeah, did you just hear that? The kid wants to drive, to drive, to buy the car back. So, how about that, huh? A little nervous, she was, and she was kind of, it's kind of like, I don't know, Dad. I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, welcome to the world of buying something that now you have an obligation to pay for. So, I get it by all means. As we get back to dealerships, getting late. What a long day. Oh, my gosh. Her boyfriend's going to drive her up after they have their fun time and their woodworking time. And, yeah, they're going to do their little woodworking project and then... He's going to drive her up to the uh, dealership to sign the paperwork. it be a first time ever for my daughter. Yikes. What am I teaching her, right? I'm sure people are like, oh, God. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> oh, the adventures of the adventures. It's incredible how these seats and this Challenger don't feel as comfortable as my Charger seat. What is that? This is a 2020 car. A Charger 2023. But I mean, that, that Charger is just so comfortable. And even when I drive my Challenger, Gold Rush, Hellcat, it's like the same thing. It's just what is it that seems a little different from the Challenger and Charger where there's so much the same car. So, what a long day. And I don't even know who didn't watch all this video today on my channel, to be honest with you. Did this all start by accident? Jesus Christ. Oh, the projects. Why don't I just own a car dealership, right? I mean, come on. Shouldn't I just be in the car business? Aren't I am in the car business. I mean, come on, right? Oh, my goodness gracious. We're back again. And this place is rocking today. I mean, it is happening. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it up down here because, in my view, this is a sold vehicle. You know, this place is happening. How do I get that thing in my garage? Oh, you drive it home and put it in your garage for the night and that's it, right? Yeah, about right. 
Okay, there it is. Kid's on the way. Kid is on the way. Wow, somebody just bought back a Dodge Challenger wide body smoke show. It isn't me. My daughter just bought back the Dodge Challenger smoke show that we traded for a Plum Crazy. Who would have ever imagined? And this is the daughter's first official car purchase. First yeah. official. She signed all the documents. How do you feel about that? I'm excited. Do you like it? I'm going to do some modifications. Are you going to keep it? Yes. Is this now your forever car? Yes. You sure about that? Yes. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Would you give up your Mustang for it? <laughs> Would uh, you yeah. give up the Ford Mustang for uh, it? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's classic. <laughs> She's just like the dad. So, yeah, the kid bought back the smoke show. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you. Okay, wow, what a day, what a day. Jesus Christ, you talk about work. Is it work? It is work. And here's my buddy with his Camaro. We're going to get some noise. You just watch. Here he goes. There he goes. Maker. Oh my goodness, right? <clears throat> We're gonna go back to the main roads to stay off the back roads with all the crazy deer. And boy, what temperatures? 53, not too bad. So there he is. Oh, he's going up to the the service end to get whatever. There he goes. Oh, he's going back. It's all about that noise, man. It's all it's about. All right, I think we're going to call it a night. And we'll talk more tomorrow. So everybody watched my channel. Thanks so much for your participation, your comments. And guess what? I didn't buy the uh, smoke show back. People said don't do it. I didn't do it. The kid did. How about that, huh? Hey, God bless. Stay safe and have a great evening. And stay tuned for the car show conversations in the morning. Do we do the car show? Wow, so much talking. It's a lot of work. God bless, stay safe.